Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Today we are going to look at a couple of system utilities for disk usage and file system usage. So without further talking, let's jump into the video. So here I am on the desktop of Arch and as I said in the intro, I just want to show you a few utilities that will be helpful for you to check your disk space. So there are a few of these which are very popular and the first one we are going to check is DU. So let's type in here in the terminal man for the man pages DU and see what it does. So you can see here on the top DU estimate file space usage. This utility actually should be already pre-installed in Arch. So when you install also the base system, you should have this already installed. And as you can see here, it's basically estimating the file space usage. So it has a lot of options here and you can scroll through them and see the ones that interest you. I want to show you actually the general use for this utility, which could be, for example, du-h. This is going to basically show you everything in the disk and how much space it takes. But if you want to check a specific directory, for example, we can also type in here the same command and just add the directory itself, like for example, slash var slash log, which tends to be normally a little bigger because it contains all the logs of the system. Now you can see here we have some of the directories are checked and some of these are not because we have permission denied. That means we can actually run this command again using sudo. So we can pull up the last command here with the up arrow and hit control X on your keyboard twice to go at the beginning of the line and add sudo and hit enter. We'll need to authenticate. And now we can check basically all the directories here in var log. So for example, you can see the journal is taking here 73 megabytes of space and the other directories are not taking that much space here. And the total for var log is 73 megabytes, which is mostly taken from the journal. We can also check other directories, like for example, let's check du-h. The h stands for human readable, because if you don't actually use this switch again on var log, as we've seen before, you can see here we have the numbers, but we don't know what they represent because they are not in human readable form. So if I pull up again the dash H option here without the sudo, just to show the same lines here, you can see the four is 4.0 kilobytes. So this way it's easier for us basically to, for us humans to read these numbers. Now, as I said before, you can also check another directory, for example, du dash H on the downloads directory, for example. And see here, my download directory takes 576 kilobytes of space. So this is a very basic utility to check the space usage for files. Now, an alternative utility that I definitely recommend you to check out is ncdu. And to check if it's installed here, you can also type in, in the terminal pacman-ss for search the package and then ncdu, that's the package. And you can see in my case, it's already installed. And NCDU is the disk usage analyzer with a NCurses interface. We're gonna check this in a second, but if you need to install it, you can type in now pacman-s, but I said sudo pacman-s and CDU, and you will download the package. Now let's check the man pages. So man and CDU. And you can see here what it does. So the description here says NCDU and Curses Disk Usage is a Curses-based version of the well-known DU that we checked before and provides a fast way to see what directories are using your disk space. So again, here we have many options that we can check and you can scroll through here and see the ones are interesting for you. For example, we can type in here NCDU just so and you can see here we have an overview of the directories that are taking more space. So you can see here, for example, the cache is taking 1.0 gigabytes of space or more. And if you hit enter here, you will go in there and see what directories are actually taking space. So for example, you can see here I have Paru, the AURL helper, which is taking the most space. I have Chrome here. I have Spotify and all the rest. You can also go here in another directory like Paru, for example, and check what takes space here. Here, So we have the clone directory, which is taking space. So you can go in here. And again, you can see which packages in this case are taking space. So we have Spotify again, we have Google Chrome, we have all my ZSH and some others. And you can go into the Spotify option here 
and again you will see what is taking up space basically you can filter through here until a certain point right now i cannot go any further but in here you see basically what's contained in this directory to go back you can hit the left arrow and you go back basically one level and again with the left arrow you go back to one level and again we are back on the cache directory and here we are back on my home directory notice here that is checking by default my home directory but you can also use this to check any other directory so for example i hit q here to quit ncdu and again i type in ncdu here and this time i'm gonna go to slash var slash log and hit enter and again you can see here as we saw before the journal is taking space here so i can go in here and check what's in there so i have here the journal entry and if I go in here again, I have several entries here and I could delete some of these if I don't need them. Now, this is an example machine. So let's say I go back one level here to the journal and I'll go back again one level. And let's say I want to basically empty the journal. I don't need anything in the journal. So what I can do here, I can hit D to delete and then confirm by going to yes and hit enter. So you can see here, I get an error, can't delete the journal because the permission is denied. And that's because I'm using now NCDU, not as a sudo user. So I'm gonna hit abort here and quit with Q and run again, sudo NCDU on slash var slash log and hit enter. I need to authenticate this time. And I want to again, empty the journal. So D for delete and confirm with yes. And now the journal is empty. And now the directory which takes the most space is the pacman.log. So I can basically now quit out from here with Q and I'm back in my terminal. So to check how much space the files are taking on your system, DU or NCDU are utilities to check out. Now, another utility that is frequently used is also DF. Let's check in man DF to check the man pages. DF should be already installed in your system. So DF, as you can see here, report file system space usage. So this is actually not how much space files are using, but it's basically reporting file system space usage. So you can see here in the description, this manual page documents the new version of DF. DF displays the amount of space available on the file system containing each file name argument. So we have here also many options that you can scroll through and check the ones that are more interesting to you. The one that I use the most is df-h, which is the human readable. And when you hit enter here, you will see basically the file system space usage and how much space you have still free. So for example, dev nvme one and one p3, this is my root partition. And I can see the size is 916 gigabytes. Used it's 15 gigabytes and I have still available 855 gigabytes. That means in use, I have only 2% of the partition. And the same goes also for my EFI partition here, which is in total 250 megabytes used are 148 kilobytes. And basically I'm using here 1% of the partition. And I have here also some other directories again with the same check. Now let me clean up the terminal again with control L. You've seen we have many options here in the DF utility. Another switch that you can use is also DF-IH. The I switch here is going to show you the I nodes basically. So it's going to tell you, for example, how many I nodes are taking up here on my root partition. So I have basically a 1% use of I nodes in my partition. So this is good. And I have also the rest of the information here for other partitions. So this is a quick overview of these three utilities, NCDU, DU and DF. As I said, they are all helpful to check disk space and file system space in your machine and i suggest you get accustomed to these utilities because especially if you are administering a system they are going to be very handy so these were the du df and ncdu utilities for linux try them out let me know what you think about them and if you have any question about the video let me know in the comments below i will try to answer you as soon as i can and again thank you so much for watching the video guys i will see you very soon in the next one